All right, so just a couple examples here of converting between polar and rectangular coordinates. So suppose we go over x units and up y units. Well, in Cartesian coordinates, our point would be x comma y. Um, in polar coordinates, suppose, well, we make an angle of theta uh, with a positive x-axis, and then we go at a distance of r. Well, in polar coordinates, we would label this point r comma theta. And again, we can just get all of these nice little relationships between uh, polar and Cartesian coordinates just by doing a bit of geometry. You know, you could use Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus y squared would have to equal r squared. That's our first one. Tangents, just opposite over adjacent. So tangent of theta would have to be y over x. And we can do the same thing for cosine and sine. All right, so... I think I'm going to do A and B in this part, and then we'll do part C in another one. So suppose we want to uh, convert uh, the, the, the point 0, 2. We want to go from rectangular coordinates into polar coordinates. Well, we could use our formulas. Um, I will do that on the next one. Um, on this one, I think it's relatively straightforward. You know, if we find the point 0, 2... Well, that would be our point in Cartesian coordinates. In polar coordinates, well, let's see, I guess a couple things here. Um, our angle that we would make here in this case, our theta, in this case, well, theta would just equal pi over 2. And if you think about sort of that distance you've gone out from the origin, well, we're two units away, so our r value would also just equal 2. So the, the polar form of that point... Again, we list the r value first. So it says we've gone two units out from the origin um, at an angle of pi over 2. So in polar coordinates, that's all we would have to do. We would say uh, the Cartesian point represented by 0, 2. In polar form, the coordinates would be 2, comma, pi over 2. Or at least that would be one way of expressing that point. Okay. So again, uh, in polar coordinates... Uh, there's infinitely many ways to represent a given point, and, you know, that one to me at least seems like the most straightforward in this case. Certainly works. Okay, so let's look at part B here, negative 3, comma, 4. We'll do that one as well since part A wasn't too terrible, I think. So let's see, negative 3, comma, 4. So there's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's our point again, just like before. Okay, so I'm just going to make my little triangle here. I'm going to make my little triangle. And I'm going to do a couple things. Um, I'm going to call this my angle alpha. And, okay, so again, we went up four units. I know that this is a, a negative, you know, we went negative three units to the left. Well, I guess we went three units to the left, which gives us negative three. Um, but on my triangle, I'm just going to label this as, you know, a length of three. I can account for all the, uh, the angles and all that in just a second. Okay, so to get the R value, um, so our R value would be the hypotenuse. Well, r squared would be 3 squared plus 4 squared, just using our formula from a second ago. Well, that's 9 and 16, which is going to be 25. Um, again, if we take the square root, technically you get positive and negative 5. But I'm going to use the, uh, the positive 5. I'm going to make r equal to positive 5 in this case. And what I'm going to do next is figure out my angle alpha. Okay, so I'm going to figure out my angle alpha, and then I'll take a 180 and subtract that angle to get the, uh, the angle that we're going to use when we use our polar coordinates. Okay, well, tangent of the angle alpha, that would just be, so let's see, what's tangent opposite over adjacent? So that would just be 4 over 3. We can take arc tangent of both sides. And this is where um, I definitely would use a calculator. Um, let's see here. I put it in degrees. So in degrees, let's say, um, so in degrees it's roughly equal to, 
uh, 53.1 degrees. Okay, so to get the angle that we're going to use here, again, maybe I'll call it just, you know, theta, like we were using. Well, theta in this case would simply be, you know, 180 degrees. That's halfway around. But then we would have to subtract away our 53.1 degrees. So 180 minus uh, just 53.1 so just make sure I don't do anything crazy, 126.9 degrees. Okay, so it says this point uh, in Cartesian coordinates where we go three units to the left and four units up. It says we could represent that point by using r, which we figured out to be positive 5, and then our theta would be uh, roughly equal to 126.9 degrees. So this would be the, the polar form. Again, not unique, certainly other ways that you could do it, but that would uh, definitely be one way of describing that point.